In this tutorial animation, we'll be using the PLC Logix 500 simulation software package to illustrate the utility of a programmed interlock. Here we can see a basic three-rung ladder logic program used to control a warehouse door application. The first rung of this ladder logic program is used to control the door motor when raising the door. The second rung controls the door motor when the door is being lowered. The third rung in the program is used to control indicators illustrating the status of the warehouse door. Contacts associated with normally open limit switches in the field are used to break continuity when the door reaches the fully opened or fully closed position. These same limit switches in the field are used to control the indicators illustrating the status of the door. One of the most powerful features of the PLC Logix 500 simulation software package is the availability of real-world 3D environments. These virtual 3D worlds can provide stimulus as well as be controlled by the user's ladder logic program. To associate one of the application environments with our currently loaded ladder logic program, click on the IO Worlds menu item. The IO Worlds menu item provides the user with access to the 2D IO rack as well as 10 virtual 3D application environments. We select the Warehouse Door option to associate the Warehouse Door application environment with this program file. This association remains when the program file is saved. A window containing the Warehouse Door application environment now appears. The Warehouse Door environment window can be maximized to take on the full screen. All of the virtual interactive application environments provided with PLC Logix 500 contain a camera control. This control allows the user to access multiple camera angles, as well as a slider for zooming in and out. In addition, each environment provides an application-specific control panel. Another feature common to all of the virtual environments is the availability of an I.O. mapping table. This table provides the physical I.O. rack location addresses for all field devices present in the application. In the Warehouse Door 3D world, the user has access to three push buttons. These normally open momentary contact push buttons can be activated by clicking on them with the mouse. Also present in the environment are limit switches. These limit switches are activated by the door position. When the door is fully opened or fully closed, the state of the limit switches changes. Output field devices included in this application are two connections for motor control, one to raise and one to lower the door. In addition, three indicators are provided to show door position status. Having completed an overview of the warehouse door application, we'll minimize the window and return to our ladder logic program. We are now ready to run the program in its current state and view the operation. We begin by bringing the program online and placing it in run mode. Next, we bring up the 3D virtual environment. We then maximize it to toggle it into full screen mode. With the program up and running, we then click on the close button to close the warehouse door. As can be seen, the virtual environment responds according to the stimulus we provided by pushing the close button. This change in input state provided continuity on the rung controlling the down portion of the motor. We can open the warehouse door by clicking on the open push button. Notice that as the door opens, the ajar indicator is lit. Now we'll take a look at the fundamental flaw in our program. If the user was to press the close button while the door was opening, the door motor would be receiving conflicting signals. Continuity would exist on both the door open and door close rungs in our ladder program. This possible conflict can be resolved by the application of an interlock. We'll return to our program and go offline and make the necessary modifications to resolve this issue. We will add the interlock between rung 0 and rung 1. These two rungs control the motor outputs. 
we will be adding a single normally closed contact to each of these two rungs. To begin, we highlight the instruction immediately to the left of our desired placement location. We then select the desired instruction from the bin and add it to the rung. We then double click on the instruction text input area and add the desired address according to the I.O. mapping table. We go on to repeat the procedure to add another normally closed contact to rung 1. As can be seen, editing rungs is simple and easy using the PLC Logics 500 simulation software package. It employs the same look and feel as the industry standard RS Logics 500 software. An interlock condition now exists between the two rungs controlling the motor outputs. This has been accomplished by adding a normally closed contact on the up motor rung that shares the address of the down motor output. If the down motor output instruction is energized, this normally closed contact on the up motor rung will open. This ensures continuity cannot exist on this rung. Therefore, the up motor cannot be engaged while the down motor is running. Inversely, the normally closed contact we added to the down motor rung shares the up motor output address. This means that if the up motor is running, this contact will be open, ensuring that the down motor cannot run. This creates a mutually exclusive situation between the two motor controls. Interlocks are widely employed in control applications. They are used extensively whenever you need to ensure that two outputs cannot be energized simultaneously. We'll now rerun our application and ensure the desired functionality has been accomplished by the use of this interlock technique. We'll now place the program in run mode and bring up the application environment. We'll leave it minimized in order to view the ladder logic in action. We'll begin by pressing the close button in order to get the door to begin to close. While the door is closing, we'll press the open button repeatedly to ensure that there is no conflict between these two outputs any longer. As can be seen in the latter logic, the up motor can no longer be energized when the down motor is running. The stop button has to be used in order to change the door direction. As can be seen, the changes we made to the program have brought about the desired behavior. The motor control rungs are now mutually exclusive. This concludes our tutorial on programmed interlocks. For more information regarding PLC Logics 500 or any of the other software simulation packages available through Logics Design, please contact us at the email, toll-free number, or website shown here.